Morning, <coughs> my name is Father Rayapa. I'm going to talk about Laudato Si. Um, Laudato Si proposes uh, a new theme called Integral Ecology, in which it includes every human being, it includes every philosophy, it includes every theology. It includes economy, society, environment, and ecology. In other words, it includes the whole cosmos. So, actually it is sharply, integral ecology sharply opposes our business as usual models. What do I mean by that? Actually, integral ecology is an inclusive approach to life. But in the past, I think we have divided, we have isolated things and like a Cartesian dualism, we put God in the heaven, we put humans outside creation and we put creation outside humans. We pitted each thing against each other. So that is called reductionism. So, but Pope is calling for integral ecology. Uh, reductionism doesn't work anymore. Even relativism. Religions, they think each religion, they are the best. They monopolize the whole truth and they have the 100% truth. But Pope is telling all those days over, let us come together and find truth together. So that is integral ecology. So. What do I mean by business as usual models? There are four models uh, we have been um, vehemently uh, employing in our lifestyle in the past towards environment and ecology. Uh, it's called dominion model, first one. <laughs> Started with dominion. Uh, in dominion model, uh, we see Human beings and earth is the only source of value. Actually, it is based on the text from the Bible. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, where God gives dominion and man is created as the imago, the, the image of God, and he has the power to subdue the earth and he has dominion over the fishes of the sea, birds of the air, and animals in the land, on vegetation. So yes, misunderstood actually. The Bible doesn't mean uh, that, uh, what we wanted to believe. But Bible is, it's benevolent and it gives justice, but we are misinterpreted. So the dominion model paradigm uh, was employed in every religion, especially Christianity and Judaism. And uh, we have done so much damage to earth and in which the people thought they have the absolute truth and they have to go and impose that truth on other cultures. So that is what happened, dominion model, paradigm, business as usual model. So. Dominion model sees only humans or the special species. And humans, they feel rightfully to exploit nature because God himself gave license to exploit. And subjugating and empowering nature is the mandate for human beings. <laughs> so they went all over the world, colonized, Eight people, slaves, the war and crusades. In South America, Aztec, Maya, Inca, all those forced conversions in India. Actually, some of the encyclicals in the uh, Middle Ages, outrageous, like Romanus, Pontifex, dumb, Diver, diverse us in 15, sorry, 1455, written by Pope Nicholas 
and another encyclical Inter Cartera, written by Pope Alexander, and another one, Subli Mus Dei, written by Pope Paul I. They all suggested high economic growth, and they proposed that Christianity, they are the only religion on the planet who hold 100% truth. All the rest of the world, they are all pagans. They need to be saved. So the dominion model was business as usual model for the church. They went and forced people into conversions and then they employed inquisition programs burning at stake. More people died in the hands of religion then all the world was put together, or even Holocaust. Hitler killed only six million, but in the religion, the religions killed almost 600 million people in the past. So that is business as usual, model, dominion model. Then it came second model called stewardship model. We have been vehemently pursuing this model too. Uh, it is based on Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, in which God commands humans, till it and keep it. In other words, use land or work the land, work the soil. At the same time, you preserve it, you conserve it for the future generations. In this business as usual stewardship model, a uh, man understands that still he is the center, he is the focus, he is the source of all value. <laughs> there is anthropocentrism, not extreme like the dominion model that was extremely anthropocentric. This is medium, <laughs> we can call it anthropocentrism. Human person is the center of creation, still humans care for creation, intent to serve our needs. They care as long as creation can take care of humans. So they saw instrumental value. So the business as usual model, stewardship model sees the natural world as something to be used by humans. God created everything only for humans. I think there is a wide gap between humans and creation here in this model. There is no sense of solidarity, isn't it? There is no sense of kinship with other species. As long as they are useful for human consumption, yes, I care for them. There is overemphasis on mastery. I am the master. Dominium terre, dominium creation, okay? and controlling nature. So here, still, this model is not benevolent to creation. Still, it hurts. So the third business as usual model is creation-centered approach model. Uh, it is maybe based on Genesis chapter nine, verse nine to eleven, where Noah makes a covenant with God. And also animals, they enter into covenant. The benevolent God makes covenant with humans and animals. In other words, humans and creation. So now we are equals. Every creature is important. So creation is the source of all value. The emphasis is on the intrinsic nature, intrinsic value of nature. Okay. Every species is important and uh, we need to respect them and we need to care for them. They have all rights. In fact, Jesus talks about it in the gospel, in the parable of the wheat and the weeds. The farmers come and report the master, the weeds are there, can we take off the weeds? But the master said, no, 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 no. They have the right of existence. Leave them alone. Let them grow together with the wheat. 
the last day we can take them all because weeds are doing something beautiful but in human mind we think weeds are interfering with the uh, productivity of the crop now today the scientific research shows that weeds are enhancing the crops because they fix nitrogen from the atmosphere so jesus 2000 years back he had a, a profound insight for creation so that is what uh, jesus says and uh, in creation centered approach model it's also a business as usual model we recognize the interdependence within the web of life and we talk about the sacredness of nature all life deserves protection here we can employ the notion of panentheism in which we say god in all all in god isn't it god is present in everything so it is a panentheic notion so it's a beautiful we can say it was a good model in business as usual model the last one business as usual model is called deep ecology model actually about the three business as usual model we can call them shallow ecology but deep ecology model probably we can base um, uh, our foundation in uh, the gospel of john chapter 15 13 greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for other yeah that is great so we live for others so we sacrifice our life for natural world as they sacrifice their life for us so as jesus says to sheep uh, i am the good shepherd i give my life to you life in abundance so that is the deep ecology model also it is business as usual model actually the proponent uh, is a norwegian his name is arn ness he proposed this deep ecology model in 1970s sometimes it is also called ecosophy according to arn ness every being whether human animal vegetable as an equal to live and blossom here humans recognize not only the dignity of creation of each every species but they also give reverence to them <laughs> and uh, humans celebrate with creation and he recognizes the the common cosmic roots we come from one single ancestor so the life originated from one cell and multi cell all the way here and we have got 10 trillion cells so we recognize the common origin i think deep ecology is the radical revisioning of nature actually it revives the asceticism mysticism all those things uh, actually 800 years back uh, saint francis he understood what uh, deep ecology is all about in the canticle of the creatures when he calls brothers and sister moon so i think it is a deep ecology paradox okay these are the business as usual models but today pope uh he finds all these four models they are good at the same time they are uh, they follow the uh, reductionist dynamics reductionism still it sees pope sees there is relativism so it is not uh, on the social justice this models or Uh, created it was created probably based on some religious text or some individual philosophy or a individual politics so they are based on again self interest so pope is amalgamating 
integrating all the three or four business astral models and making them into one. That is called integral ecology model. So I think we need to say goodbye to the business as usual models and we need to employ uh, integral ecology model in which we see everything is together. God, humans, creation. We are all, all the time together. There is no separation. By Cartesian dualism, separated everything. God is out there, creation is out there. Even in human, there is a body and soul. So Descartes, he told there are two different things. Body is different, soul is different. But today we see body, soul, man and woman, America and India, Mars, Jupiter and Earth, Andromeda galaxy and Milky Way and uh, all of them together. Christianity or Islam or Judaism, Hinduism, Shintoism, Confucianism, Jurassicism, Buddhism, all of them one. It's a convergence of different perspectives. That is integral ecology. So we come together as a power, we can solve problems easily, when we are united, unity is our strength. That is the problem. So I think integral ecology is nothing but unity, convergence and union. As Father, Son, Holy Spirit in Christian concept, one God, three persons, they are united forever. But still they are different. Now they can act, their roles are different. So the same way we are all individuals, at the same time we are one. Uh, unity in diversity, many things we can talk about. So I think integral ecology model, I think it's going to be employed for the future. So enjoy, please read uh, Pope Encyclicals, Love Love to See, especially Chapter 4, which is titled Integral Ecology. And that will explain beautifully what I've been trying to explain to you for the past 12 minutes. Thank you. God bless.